Somebody called the law. Somebody called the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though, Heist Man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. These are the stories that happened last week on Earth. This is what happened last week, man. It's a few things we got to talk about that I want to talk about anyway. That I seen that came across my attention, across my timeline, my feeds. I got to give it to the people, man. You got to be kidding me. We're talking about this woman right here, man. I think this story kind of old, man, but it came across my radar once again. And this is about this woman right here, man. She needed a kidney. I mean, she gave her kidney away to her boss. The lady at the top is the boss. She gave her kidney away. But after she gave her kidney away, she didn't make it back in time to work. She didn't recover fast enough for the boss, and the boss fired her. Come on, man. You got to be kidding. Or kidding it, as I say. Because come on, man. I gave you life again. And I don't heal up as fast as you. So I need that time. Um, you wouldn't be able to fire me if it wasn't for me. So... I think you should let me keep my job, man. I don't know what's the timeline. What was she doing? I don't know the whole... This is a story I think happened about a year ago, to be honest with you. But it just came across my timeline again, so I had to talk about it. So this didn't actually happen last week on Earth. But y'all know what I mean. This right here, Olympic boxing. Is, is there any box inside of the boxing? I, I don't know, man. This is real picky topic. We talked about it on the show Friday um, night. And it was kind of crazy, man. If y'all don't know the story, man, it's about this woman right here in the orange. I mean, in the red. Her name is Amani Caliph. And the other one in the blue is named Angela Carnini. But how I go down, Angela Carnini got into this Olympic boxing match. And um, they got into a boxing match and 45 seconds into it. The woman in the blue, she said, look, I don't want to fight this person in the red. When the first story first came out, when I first heard it, they were saying that the woman in the red was not a woman. They said she was a man. So we had to take that side for it. Then it's coming back out that she is born a biological woman, but she have a X and Y chromosome. She has some extra stuff inside of her. The outside is all woman, but the inside is kind of, you know, I heard that she failed. Um, he, she, them or they, I don't know what they identify as. Well, she, she says she identifies as a woman, so we got to respect her on that level. So, she said that, you know, they, they said that she did, um, tested negative for genetic something. I don't know, man. I, I didn't lost my train of thought on this, man. Cause this was a big topic last week, man, about this um, woman or man. They saying she a man. A lot of people got in trouble about this, man. Um, I think Logan Paul. He got into it, man, with some um, the WWE. They gave him a little backlash because everybody I'm saying, when the, when the story first came out, the one in the red from Algeria kind of looked like, kinda looked like a dude, kind of strong in the face. So everybody thought this was a woman. And, hey, man, I don't know. I just know she got X and Y and she, she failed a genetic test or she had too much testosterone. They said she took testosterone out of her body to... You know, we was having a conversation on the show. I'm looking like, yo, would you want your daughter fighting her? And nobody wanted to give a correct answer or a right answer or just a, a real answer. Like, no, you wouldn't want your daughter fighting her. My co-hosts would not, they would not come around to saying that. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's all about opinions. I, I don't know. I, when I first heard the story, I didn't think she had a box. That's why I call it Olympic boxing because I like, do. Where's the box? But maybe she does have one. Maybe she have one. But the inside sin. And I've made a comparison. Like, I ain't even going to make that comparison no more, man. Y'all go watch the show Friday. Y'all see what we had to say about that, man. Minutes of the Future, episode 10. So, yeah, I want to get off this because I don't know. But that happened last week on Earth. Excuse me, ma'am. You got to leave that at home. This woman right here, she got in trouble for having, um, they said she was a distraction on the football field and the conversation came up and nobody won. I didn't, my wife didn't want to agree with me on this conversation. I was thinking like, yo, she needed, not that she got a, you know, you can't leave that ass at home. That's a lot of ass. You can't leave it at home. That's why I said, you got to leave that at home because you can't. And, um, it came up because she, she is a distraction. My wife didn't want to say she was a distraction. I said, but she, she, she ain't got to be standing up on the sideline 
with her with tight pants and if they're not revealing they're long you know she kept saying they're long pants they're not revealing but she could have wore a shirt a distraction she don't understand distraction my wife did not i don't believe she did that's a distraction because she don't have to be out there like that she can put a big shirt on you know it could be, i don't know man you can't tell these people how to dress and you know you, ain't, ain't nobody got to say nothing rude and you know to her about it but it is a distraction you got to understand a man on man he, hey you know he he both like sit down bitch you don't need to be up there like that um we came back to the conversation of this woman right here she's the art teacher and the art teacher um she was getting um the same thing a distraction because i mean she's teaching little children but she's an art teacher and she's you know her shape her shape she can't take it home she can't leave it with her but she do not have to wear revealing clothes like this and nobody wanted to um side with me on this well my wife didn't my cousin he felt the same way my other co-host he felt the same way i did this is really a distraction maybe not to the kids but to the men who work there she walking down the hallway they gonna say something to say something to something to something to something she can't cover it up but she don't have to wear it like that she don't have to um enunciate or insinuate or glorify like she can't cover it up she don't have to have those type of jeans on. She could have some some Jinko jeans on. We can't tell people how to dress and how to do their thing at working like that. And um, it is not revealing, but it is a distraction. You see? And I just want to be a hundred on this. It's like, this is a distraction. If I'm in my classroom, I keep seeing Miss Walker walk by. I'm like, God damn, good. You see Miss Walker today? You see? And like... I don't know, man. People just don't want to admit to it. Look at that, man. You can't tell me that won't be a distraction. And you can't tell me she can't. She don't. She cannot dress a certain way, or, or she can't cover some of that up. You can cover that up. It ain't against the law, but I cover that up, man. You gotta leave that at home. <laughs> she can't leave it at home, but y'all know what I mean. That happened last week too. This right here, this is some Final Destination type shit right here, man. This dude right here, man, R.I.P. to this brother right here. Um, was in a coma for 244 days. Get out to get hit by a car and die. R.I.P. to him, man. That's why I say Final Destination, because Final Destination was looking for him. They wanted him. The Grand Reaper said, mm-mm, bring that ass here, boy. What you doing? Come to find out, it happened seven years later, so it wasn't really... You know, like he was hunting for him, but it just made a good story. We we didn't really have that many stories this week, man. Wasn't that many stuff that came out this last week. And um but I gotta do my due diligence and still talk about it on last week on Earth. Um this is the story we did talk um that I talked about last week on um last week on Earth that I missed and I had to bring it to my co host because they didn't see it. It's funny to me, man. The man won the twerking contest. The longest duration of twerking is three hours and 30 minutes. A man. He shouldn't have did that. We talked about this last week, but my co-host didn't get to talk about it because we skipped over that. It's like I had it in my OBS's topic number five. We went from topic four and went to topic six. We skipped right over five. And um, after looking at the show, I seen it. I know why I skipped it, too. Because my sister was on the, um, she had called in and I got distracted. So I went straight from Ford. I'm like, damn, I missed that. So we did get a chance to talk about it last night. Um, all right. Cardi B files for the <laughs> divorce. Um, I'm getting tired of them, man. Her and Offset, they filed for divorce. After she announced herself as pregnant, they always do this. I think they just want to, um... Get their name in the algorithm, you know? I mean, maybe they, I don't know they love. I don't know their relationship. I, it just seemed like every week they getting a divorce. He cheating on her. She cheating on him. They keep accusing each other. They breaking up. But I, I last I heard they were broke up. Now she now she pregnant and she's pregnant by him. I mean, that's his wife. He can smash his wife and they still can have relations and they still can do whatever. But I don't know, man. I'm tired of them. They happened last week. Twerking for votes. I don't know if she was twerking, but she did get up there and do her thing, do her one to her step. This is Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion, she is, you know, helping out um, Kamala Harris 
do their thing over there. Whatever they got going on. A lot of people was giving her backlash and flack for twerking for votes at the um, Democrat, Democratic Party convention, whatever they call it. Um, the DNC Democratic National Convention. Whatever. I don't think she, I, I will say she did not twerk. She did get up there and shake a little bit and gyrate, but she didn't twerk. You got to bend over to twerk. You know, you got to put a hunch in your back and shake shake a tail feather. She didn't actually twerk, but a lot of people were saying like, hey, man, you got her out there. Do, do, do. Shut up. Everybody do everybody things. And, man, they had them Amber Rose at the Republican. So, and I don't, what she do except be bald head and beautiful. Some things she did in her life was look good with a bald head. I don't know if she can sing. I don't know if she can rap. I don't know if she can dance. I've never seen her do nothing. Tell you the truth. This is bitch. I mean, this is um chick right here can rap. So that happened last week. Summer Slam predictions. I made my Summer Slam predictions. Um, I chose when it came down to it. I chose L.A. Knight because I figured that um Logan Paul is gonna you know lose his belt because of what he said about the uh, boxing females. He made a comment and said it was disgusting. It was eat pure evil because he was under the assumption that. The lady was a man, and like the world was, he jumped out the window too fast, and he had a retracted statement, so I predicted that L.A. Knight was going to win. And it's time for L.A. Knight to win the belt, just because Logan Paul had held it for a long time. He did a great job with it, as my co-host Primzilla told me and said. Um, we made these predictions Friday night. He did a good job, so boom. When it came down to CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, I picked Drew McIntyre. CM Punk don't need to win. It's working, you know. He he getting back into the mix of things. He you can't win all of them. You can't just come back and just get the belt and do all that. Work work your way back up, man. And it's a good story. They working it. Um, Seth Rollins gonna be the special guest referee. We both can um, agree that Seth Rollins should have on a regular referee uniform. But Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins. He's gonna do his Seth Rollins thing. So don't know about that. Braun Breaker, Sami Zayn, eh. I don't see Sami Zayn um, losing. Braun Breaker, he don't need to win the IC title yet. He don't need to win it yet. And he don't need to win it at SummerSlam. He need to work a little bit more. So, hey, but he's in the, in the contention for it. They putting the, um, the rocket to his back, so he might win. So, big shout out to him. Um, Nia Jackson Bailey, I'll give it to Nia Jax. That's what I predicted. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. I say Liv Morgan retains and Dominique Mysterio, he um, causes Rhea Ripley to lose inadvertently, some kind of way. Break that up. You know. Gunther versus Damian Priest. I would like to see Gunther. That's why I predict Gunther win. He's still doing this thing. So that's what I predicted Friday. And last but not least, Solo Sokoya versus Cody Rhodes. Primzilla did not think that um, Roman Reigns was going to show up. Him or The Rock. He said Solo Sokoya ain't did enough yet. Solo Sokoya is not going to retain. I mean, is not going to win the belt. Cody Rhodes will retain. And he figured out, yeah, we don't need to play the Rock card so fast right now. You know, we can, we can wait that out. So I think that was pretty dope of him to, you know, say that. Speaking of summer slams, we got to talk about the Math Ain't Maffin. Math Hopper, battle rapper, turnt host of his My Expert Opinion. Um, he got a, it's a video leaked out there, footage of him arguing with his female, his wife, his girlfriend. I don't know what they are to each other. I know they're together. And um, it was doctored to sound like he, you know, put hands and feet on it, like, like a loud smack noise. And um, they say it's not true, but... It sounded it, the smack is doctor, but the argument was real between him and his wife. And they said the reason why they was arguing because of his ex co host. Her name is Misfit. They said they had an affair. He had an affair with her. And um, I don't know what to believe. She's stood it out, been stood it out all my life that I've known her. I don't know her, but you know what I mean? That I've seen, I've never seen her not be um, a stud. So, you know, the stud is not a. Um, She's not an ugly stud either, you know. So she she do have some face, and she do have the working parts of a female. Um, so I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know if he did or didn't. I don't think he did. I don't think they did. I don't know if he did. I don't know. I ain't, that ain't my business, but this is the story. This is what's happened in the news. This is what happened last week on Earth, man. Um, I don't know. A lot of people said maybe, like, she seen this, her number in the, in the phone or something. A lot of people said that that's what dudes do. They put their homeboy's name in the phone, you know, and he could have had her name up on the you know, her name saved with somebody else talking to somebody else, and she gonna look at the phone, and see her name, and like, oh, that's just uh, okay. And she's still, everybody gonna thank my man's new. I hate with a stud like that. So, that happened last week on Earth, man. That's their business. I try to stay out of battle rap business because it's so toxic, man. 8 2 24. That was last Friday. That was a date last Friday. That date can coincide with Kobe Bryant, his daughter, Gigi, and his other number. And this was the statue they revealed Friday, unveiled to commemorate Kobe and his daughter, R.I.P. to both of them, and uh, with 11, 12, 13 people that was on that helicopter also. Um, yeah, but that's a nice, I think it was courtside at the Laker game, and they, they took that photo. But 8-2-24 is Kobe number, her number, and his other number, so that happened Friday. And that's all, that's it. That's all the stories, man. That's all the story happened last week on Earth, man. Um, if y'all want to see me talk about these stories, I talk about them on Friday nights at 9 p.m. and I go live with my co-host, Primezilla, Charlene Defoe. We do our thing, man. We talk about this stuff. Um, I have my opinion. They have theirs. I'm usually right. They're usually wrong because um, I'm the greatest nigga of all time. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean, though, man. If y'all know me, y'all know how I get down, man. I'm very narcissistic. I love me. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and highlight me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and highlight at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This has been Last Week on Earth. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.